Okay, everybody, I'd like to finish up with what personally I think is one of my most important uh, lectures of the year. And I call it the most important nine months of your life. Uh, starting with here, uh, you all looked something like this when you were born. You see the umbilical cord here. This baby's just born and is screaming. You see there's very little blood. There's very little blood upon delivery, a little bit from maybe from the mom, uh, from the vaginal tissues tearing, but uh, generally there's very little blood. This baby's squalling because it went from uh, 98 degrees floating in this nice tub with mom's heartbeat going all the time, nice and snug, to the first light it's ever seen, to being wet and cold and Man, I mean, birth is traumatic. Birth is traumatic. But we all survived it. And I really like this, uh, this um, cartoon. One thing that always surprises me when I go visit people in the hospital is how many babies there are in that maternity ward. And, yeah, it's kind of crazy. How crazy? Well... Uh, there are 3.9 million births in the U.S. Uh, four years ago. That's seven and a half births a minute. Here we are, and uh, I'm giving this lecture during the lockdown COVID time. And if you think about how many numbers are put in front of you about the number of people dying from the virus, and you think about the fact that 10,000 children are born in the United States every single day. And if you go to a maternity ward in any hospital around here, you understand that because there's like 15 kids, 20 babies in there, and the next day there's the same amount. And they just keep coming in, coming in, coming in. Um, but I want to talk about the most important nine months of your life and the most important uh, time if you're and this is for girls more than boys because boys don't get pregnant if you do guys uh, make sure you let me know we'll do a little study on you and the amazingness of that now, there are two things I want to talk about the first one is called fetal alcohol syndrome 450 kids are born with birth defects every day that's about 5% of all births okay and that doesn't seem like a lot but if it's your kid it's a lot 50% of all birth defects are preventable. Let me say this again. The CDC and other, the um, American Medical Association estimate that 50% of all birth defects are preventable. You're like, how can that be? How can they be preventable? Well, for example, the number one cause of birth defects is something called fetal alcohol syndrome. Fetal alcohol syndrome, and alcohol is the number one cause of these birth defects. Many children with FAS had mothers that didn't drink at all once they found out they were pregnant. I'll say it again. Many children with FAS had mothers that didn't drink at all, not all, of course, drink at all once they found out they were pregnant. So, a fetal alcohol syndrome has these very characteristic traits. Oops, sorry. This is the brain of a six weeks old child, normal. This is a six week old child that has a relatively bad fetal alcohol syndrome. One of the things that really annoys me is I'll see a pregnant woman drinking, and I won't say anything, but I'll hear them say to somebody, or I've heard it a lot my doctor said, a glass of wine or two is okay. Well, every time I hear that, I think about this brain right here. You see, when you get pregnant, the very first thing besides the heartbeat to develop is the brain. And you've all heard this. You've all heard that alcohol kills nerve cells, especially brain cells. Well, think about if you're a... When you're at your age, you have trillions of brain cells. If you're missing a few, no big deal, as long as they're not in the wrong places. But if you're an a embryo who's only got a few hundred brain cells and mom drinks and kills some of them, 
they aren't coming back and they're not going to reproduce other brain cells. And so what happens to these kids is they get born and they have, and we don't know why this is, why they have these uh, characteristic fe facial features, kind of like Down syndrome. Uh, kids with fetal alcohol syndrome have very much Down syndrome-like features. Uh, one of the weird ones is the indistinct philtrum. The philtrum is the little, the two little lines under your nose. Why that's flat in kids like this, we don't know. Um, they may, ha they will have a smaller head because they have a smaller brain. But the big thing here is the seriously uh, learning disabled learning disabilities that come along with this. Learning disabilities. I mean, I can tell you 10 kids in our school that I know of that I'm pretty sure have fetal alcohol syndrome. 10 kids every year. And it might not have been their mom's fault. Like, she might not have been drinking after she was pregnant. I mean, drinking could have caused the pregnancy, kind of, right? But but she found out she was pregnant. She stopped drinking. Or maybe uh, she had a few, you know, and didn't know she was going to be pregnant. If you are trying to get pregnant, you should never drink. If you're a mom and you're like, hey, we're trying to have a baby, you should stop drinking then. Because if you get pregnant and you are still drinking, you don't even know it for a couple months, could be too late. Second, and our country's done a real, our country particularly has done a really good job in this uh, thing, something called a neural tube defect. Neural tube defects account for about 2,500 birth defects every year in the United States. Uh, the major one is something you may have heard of called spina bifida or open spine. This is where uh, during development, okay, the first thing it develops is the brain. But how a baby, how an embryo develops is it grows this nerve system down the middle and then the, then the spinal cord does what's called zipping up. It fills in that way. It sort of zips up. Well, we know that women that take folic acid Folic acid is a uh, vitamin B product, but one of the vitamin Bs. If you take 400 milligrams every day, your chances of having a baby with a neural tube defect where their brain gets exposed in anencephaly, this baby was born with a, really no brain because the skull didn't, the skull didn't finish growing, or this baby is going to be paralyzed from here down for life because they're uh, their spine didn't get covered up. But we found that taking 400 milligrams of folate, folic acid every day, makes it 70% less likely that you have a child with a neural tube defect. That's incredible, actually. And so if you have the ability to go into an OBGYN and get prenatal vitamins, the reason they give you those prenatal vitamins is to make, try to make sure that your baby gets off to a really good start. And here's the thing. Neural tube defects form in the first 17 to 30 days after fertilization. Mom doesn't even know she was pregnant. So if you are trying to get pregnant, you're hopefully married, but maybe not, and you're like, you know, I want to have a kid. And uh, hopefully inform the people trying to help you make kids. Uh, and you need to start taking folate pills then. You need to start preloading then. Because if you had, you could get pregnant and not know it again. And if you've been taking folic acid, you give yourself, a, your child, a very good chance to get a good start. And that's it. That's our discussion of pregnancy. Fertilization, pregnancy, development in the first nine months of your life.